why do employers advertise for jobs but they never hire? Have you noticed that there are many open positions today and companies are actively hiring and seem like even being desperate to bring in new people, but you never get a call from a recruiter? So I've been recruiting and talent sourcing for years and here are some things that are very likely happening in many companies. The possible reason why almost all governments worldwide now mandate firms to advertise all job posting that they have with a few exceptions, such as working through a third party recruiting agency that posts positions on their behalf, but do it confidentially. However, the outcomes of that recruiting always get reported. As a result, it's easier to cross check annual statistic reports and urge firms to hire candidates available on the open job market. Market. The most competent or the most suitable one gets the job and sadly it's not you this time. So possible reason number two, many positions are only designed to be filled internally and the fake competition involving two or three external candidates begin. Eventually no external candidates are hired for the roles for which they were interviewed for and a candidate simply receives a thank you email for participating in the corporate show and Adios amigos. In the best case scenario, your CV will be stored in company's database system and hardly ever be reviewed again by the recruiter. Possible reason number three, some businesses post job openings in advance of expected demands to establish a pipeline of candidates. But I don't necessarily agree with this because a recruiter can build a pipeline of candidates simply by following them on social media and tracking the candidates what they do daily. But there is a corporate strategy behind this and they're posting this job because they expect to fill it in the future and when there is a job opening they quickly pull up the list of candidates and begin messaging them but the irony here is that even after months of predicting whether the post will be opened or frozen many active candidates have already accepted employment with real job openings and are unwilling to move from one job to another so quickly. As a result, the recruiter has no choice but to announce a new position, job opportunity again. So possible reason number four, the United States and other countries with active immigration programs such as Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and many more, they mandate employers to post job openings in specific immigration situations. The truth is that these companies already have someone doing the job or have found a cheaper candidate who would work for years and never complain or leave the company. Such employers are eager to hire and start a foreign workers immigration process either by issuing a working visa or transferring an existing internal employee who is on a working visa to become a permanent employee and then and then initiate the green card and whatever citizenship application. So as a result, firms are compelled to list positions to guarantee that local citizens are also considered. However, there are legal loopholes that businesses are delighted to exploit all the time. For example, instead of posting online and attracting thousands of local job candidates, companies like Facebook publish openings in a newspaper that no one reads or knows about. And this procedure draws the company's one and only candidate that gets hired eventually. Everything that is difficult and low paying is staffed by foreign masters and PhD grads. And of course, it's a national security concern. It's not only just one company who decides everything. Since nothing basic to technology, medicine, or engineering could be designed in the United States because the compensation is insufficient for the difficulty of the work for someone who is born in the United States to perform the job. Now it becomes clear the logic behind those if you understand how businesses work. I guess not all job seekers should know this in order not to get discouraged and demotivated and start complaining and so on. So possible reason number five of firms hiring, not hiring and what's going on is that because business requirements change. Budgets are being redirected. A role that the corporation thought it required yesterday may no longer be required today. So there is a hiring freeze as a result that only HR departments and the few employees are aware of it and all job postings become obsolete. Despite the fact that it is the recruiter's responsibility to remove any inactive job postings on time, 
Recruiters are not deleting those job postings because the business requirements may shift again. Possible reason number six is that we don't know whether or not someone was actually hired. It's usually job seekers don't have time to track someone's career on LinkedIn, whether they were hired for this position or not. It's just impossible to do physically. Oh, and instead, job seekers are preoccupied with their day-to-day -day tasks of searching for employment. And this is the right thing that they can do. So the best strategy for any job seeker is to focus on current things that is going on with them, like keep searching for perfect jobs, then trying to figure out what's going on inside the company that they have applied for. Possible reason number seven. Employers are scouters. They scout the market to see who is available, how much those candidates anticipate earning if they change their jobs, and who wants to work for them. Are there any good and competitive candidates, external ones who are worthy of their attention and better than for example, their existing operations manager. Understanding why you were not contacted for an interview, even though you may be the best candidate right now, this knowledge that I shared today may shed light on the convoluted hiring process. So as always, don't get discouraged and stay educated by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, leave me the comments to share your ideas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.